Hey, Facebook friends and YouTube. Um, I'm gonna make, I want to make a video about peace, and I have these little devotional books, and I just randomly flipped open in both of them, and it, the topic for both of them was peace. So I was like, okay, I guess I need to make a video about this. But um, I had a epiphany yesterday that, and I've always kind of known that some people have like an addiction to anger. I think because they don't want to be bored, so they like want to get angry all the time so that they're not bored. And I think that is common for men. And then for women, it's common to have an addiction to worry. And I think it's for the same reason, because we don't want to be bored. And I was telling my husband that my stepdad really modeled this for me to just be comfortable with being bored. And like peace might feel boring, but at least it's peaceful. And so we have to really like come to a place where we feel comfortable with being bored um, because boring is peaceful. And at least then you're not angry about anything and you're not worried about anything and you're just like giving it to God, you know. So I guess maybe in some ways worry and anger makes us feel like we have power or something. It makes us feel more powerful, but of course it's just futile because obviously we don't really have that much power you know God does so we need to just like realize that and just let everything go and let God you know take everything so okay here's some good verses on peace uh, the best one is a heart of peace gives life to the body but envy rots the bones so that is really important and I just posted on Facebook and on a bunch of groups that if you want to not have health problems, or I should have said just said less health problems, uh, don't worry and stress yourself out. Because for sure, it's proven that stress causes a lot of health issues. I mean, it's possible even cancer is caused by stress. And we determine our own level of stress, ultimately. You know, I mean, obviously, you know, the more that we stay in peace, the less stress we'll have. The more that we love others and do what God tells us to do and walk in love, the less stress we will have for sure. Like if you think about it, when do you get stressed out? It's when you know you're doing something that you know you're not supposed to be doing. Like getting mad at someone, you know, yelling at your kids, yelling at your spouse, you know, stuff like that. And then that stresses you out and that stress is the Holy Spirit telling you like, hey, you should probably like chill out and be nice and be loving, you know. Or if we talk about people behind their back, you know, obviously that's going to lead to stress because we know we shouldn't be doing that. <sighs> so watch out for those things, you know. Watch out for getting angry. Watch out for worrying because ultimately you can't control anything. Worrying is not going to do anything. It's like, uh, anyways, yeah, it's just Jesus said, Will worrying add one hour to your life? No, like, it's not going to fix anything if you worry all the time, you know. And But I guess Satan tells people that you can control things by worrying and thinking about them, but you can't. So that's why there's really just no point, you know. We all need wisdom about that. Okay, uh, more verses on peace. Jesus said, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. So that's a command right there. Do not let your hearts be troubled. And we can choose to have fear or worry or anger or be troubled or we can choose to not. You know, and I guess like it can be frustrating for people who are always like worried or angry when they look at someone who's not. They're like, are you even alive? <laughs> But I mean, yeah, that person's alive, but they're just at peace, you know. So we just need to embrace peace, be okay with being bored because being at peace can feel kind of boring, but we need to just be happy with that, you know. Um, another verse, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. That's always been probably my favorite verse. But yeah, so if you're worried about anything, pray about it, and then you will have peace because then you're like, okay, God's got, you know, he's got the whole world in his hands. So it's like that. Like when you pray, you remember that, and then you have peace. Amen. Praise God. Christ himself is our peace. 
Um, I guess a good way to explain that is because when we know that we are sufficient in Jesus and in his sacrifice was sufficient for us, you know, to forgive us for any, everything, then we have peace. Praise God. The fear of the Lord leads to life. The one rests content, untouched by trouble. Jesus said, take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. That's good. I will lie down and sleep in peace, for you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. Praise God. So really, you know, the more that we trust God, the more peace that we will have, for sure. So work on that. Work on trusting God. And I guess the best way to do that is when you pinpoint any event in your life that was like traumatic or sad or crazy you have to see that it was satan that was behind that and not god you know so when you see who your real enemy is and that satan is the one who causes all of your pain and misery then you can trust god more you know and you can trust that god's going to work out all that painful stuff that satan caused for the good because that's what the bible says which is also one of my favorite verses you know all things work together for the good of those who love god Amen. Praise God. Um, the Lord gives strength to his people. The Lord blesses his people with peace. Mm -hmm. Great peace have they who love your law and nothing can make them stumble. Yeah, so the more that you love law, like the more that you submit to the police, first of all, and the more that you submit to the law in general, the more peace you'll have because you'll know that you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. You know, like we aren't supposed to be lawbreakers. You know, Paul said, submit to the governing authorities. Even if you're, even if it's like a democratic president and you don't feel like you're democratic, it doesn't matter. Like, you still have to submit. So, and the more that you submit, the more peace you will have because you know, you will know you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. Amen. Um, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him. Turn from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. I think that's really important. We need to pursue peace. You know, like, we need to be really active and aggressive about it. Like, just as aggressive as some people are, like, literally, they kind of are aggressive about worrying or being angry. We need to be just as aggressive about pursuing peace, you know. We need to put just as much energy and effort into pursuing peace as some people do in worrying and getting angry. So, you have to protect your peace, you know, and fight for it. So, okay. Um, when a man's ways are pleasing to the Lord, he makes his enemies live at peace with him. That's really good. So, yeah. So, you, that's favor and blessing. So, the more that you do what God wants you to do, the more favor and blessing you will have. And then you won't have any enemies because you're doing what God wants you to do, you know. Lord, you establish peace for us. All that we have accomplished, you have done for us. Woot. The mind controlled by the Spirit is life and peace. I always really like that verse. That's really good. I memorized that um, in college, Romans 8. The mind controlled by the Spirit is life and peace. So if you want to have peace, you need to have your mind controlled by the Holy Spirit. And you need to think the things that He would want you to think. Not let your flesh control your mind. Not let Satan control your mind, for sure. You know, not let other people control your mind. You know, you need to control your mind and you need to let the Holy Spirit control your mind and submit to him and the thoughts that he would want you to think, which are whatever is true, admirable, excellent, praiseworthy. You know, think about these things. So, praise God. May God bless you all. I hope that that edified some of you and that it made you think and that you learned something. So don't be angry, do not worry, and stay in peace. Okay? God bless.